I'd really like to become counsellor in Mills Coombe and Bevan Dean for several reasons, but most of them tie into the basic concept that I really believe that communities and uh, local organisations and families are what matters in society. I think over recent years, the state, the market, all these things have taken precedence over and above families and community groups. I feel it's the role of local government, particularly local councillors, in order to help to facilitate those kind of organisations, to help people achieve what they are able to achieve and fulfil their potential. Millscombe and Bevendine obviously is an area with lots of issues um, in stake and I really feel that it's an area that deserves good local government and I hope to provide that I would be feel greatly privileged if I were able to provide that should I be elected to be your councillor. Well I originally stood in Molescombe and Bevendine because I used to live in the ward so I knew the issues that are really important to people. The two key issues when I stood for election was the school catchment areas which generally a lot of residents in the Falmer catchment area felt was unfair um, and put them at a disadvantage to other residents in the city. The other issue was the council housing stock transfer, which we got an 80% no vote. And on those two issues, I was committed to helping local residents campaign to make their local school better if we couldn't change the catchment areas and to improve the council housing for residents in that area. And I think I've delivered on both those. We've now got Falmer Academy, which has got a brand new um, school. But not just that, it's got a new way of teaching. There's going to be a sixth form for the first time. There's new school uniforms. There's a new whole. Um, way of teaching which will really benefit local children and the local community. Council housing for the first time in nearly 20 years is getting massive investment in, in terms of new front doors and kitchens and bathrooms and I want to be re-elected because in those four years I've really delivered for the local community but there is a lot more to do. People often ask me why they should vote Conservative and that question usually comes from a misguided belief that the Conservative Party are about the posh and the privileged and the rich in this country and that's really not true. Neither Maria nor I come from privileged backgrounds. We both feel at home in the Conservative Party and believe in their policies. I grew up in rural Oxfordshire, my father's a carpenter, my mum's a housewife and I went to a local state school there. From there I went to Oxford University, um, obviously that's a quite a hard working process to get there from that sort of background. After that I trained as a teacher which I feel is a fantastic profession and opened doors of opportunity to people, uh, young people, whatever their background is a really important thing. Well I um, grew up in South London and I went to a, just a normal state um, comprehensive school. Um, my dad was a builder, my mum was a nurse. Um, my brother um, went on to be a mechanic, well, um, left school at 15 without any qualifications and actually went back um, a few years later and became a solicitor. Um, I trained as a nurse and I really believe in the state system and the state education because it gave me opportunities and um, you know gave me a lot of experience. I never got to go to university and I think that I've always regretted that, that I never had the opportunity. So for me it's really important to give children and uh, young people who do want to go into further education every opportunity to do so.